Welcome to Mapping Embodiment at UW-Madison. What follows are the body map creations of UW-Madison students who participated in body mapping workshops facilitated by 4W Director of Creative Embodiment and Embody Mentoring, Dr. Kate Phelps. In addition to teaching for the Gender and Women's Studies Department at UW-Madison, Dr. Phelps facilitates body mapping workshops with the UW-Madison campus community. This exhibit showcases an interweaving of body maps and excerpts from the workshop focus groups and interviews. Due to the nature of the content and the intimacy of creating and sharing a body map, all identifying information is kept confidential to protect workshop participants. Additionally, this exhibit does not include image descriptions to ensure that the subjectivities and original intentions of the map creators are maintained. Mapping embodiment at UW-Madison brings to life the meanings that workshop participants gave to the body mapping process and renders visible that which often goes unseen or unspoken in embodied experience. The body maps explore various elements of embodiment and demonstrate the therapeutic foundations of body mapping in their expressions of themes, such as internal versus external desires and influences, bodily relationships with spaces and communities, growth, self-awareness, the duality of public versus private, compassion, pain and violence, vulnerability, ownership and autonomy, resistance, freedom, and letting go. Thank you for bearing witness. The workshop brought up a lot of questions about gender for me. Doing the body map gave me the freedom to decide whether I wanted to perform femininity or not. I realized that femininity was an external influence rather than an internal influence. Gender felt external rather than internal. the violent enforcement of femininity. Sometimes being touched made me feel like I was worth something. I was surprised by a lot of the shame that I was carrying. I was finally processing pain through grief. I've created a bubble for myself that I feel safe in, but in the greater campus, I don't feel as comfortable in it. A lot of the spaces feel catered toward men, 
they feel masculine. The spaces weren't designed with safety and comfort in mind. If you are female, you are being constantly told to cover things up. And as we get older, that goes for emotions too. You can't let anyone see you be emotional as a woman. I don't want to be seen completely. I felt that I needed to cover part of myself reflected in the map like I wasn't ready to share that or confront that. Trauma can scare you away from yourself. I'm still me, but I keep it inside. It's scary to be a woman right now, and it has been for so long. I can't take up as much space as I want to. My map was the protection of the inner version of myself. It woke something up inside of me. It felt like a taking back of my body. This can be mine. Coming as I am, saying what I think, being brave if I can. What if? We are not here to invade. We are here to bear witness. I found compassion for myself. It gave me warmth. I was being true to myself and my community.
doing the body mapping workshop was very grounding. This experience gave me empathy for other workshop members. I left my face out of the map because I wanted people to see what's inside my head. My intelligence, my joy. I didn't put a face because there's no face that truly depicts how I'm feeling. We are not islands. There is the greater body of us. All of these human experiences happen to everyone, and the workshop initiated way more self-compassion than I have ever felt before. Body mapping kick-started the period I've set for self-exploration. There are so many opportunities for exploration. Body mapping is an endless project. It requires a lot of vulnerability and honesty. It requires you to reflect deeply. It was challenging and cathartic. It was difficult but important work. It was good work. It's so powerful to sit with the reality of sharing these maps with each other, because they are only for us. It's a very courageous thing to share a body map. I had never sat with myself like that before. It allowed me to process things that I had been suppressing. It's been a huge privilege to see something that's so personal. Mine felt very personal to share. Seeing everyone's body maps felt so special. I am grateful for it. I felt self-empowerment. I felt a surprise connectedness. I felt resistance, finding out these things and why we think them, and then resisting them. Sensing things that are socially projected, rejecting what is socially expected of us. Resistance to what should be norms, and being accepting of who you are.
It helped me get to a point of self-understanding and self-worth. Art is self-care. There is no human who wouldn't get something out of this. We all have a body. It's the one thing we have. Each human can relate in that way. The workshop was so powerful. I was ready for this experience. Doing the body map helped me be inside my body and make a safe space for myself. Presence is all you need from yourself.